If you are searching for a bookin or a scheduling plugin for WordPress that um, has all the functions, then you are at the right place because today I want to show you one of the best or the best booking plugin out there, which has all the features, all the functions you can imagine. So um, if you have uh, a gym or if you have a tire repair company or if you have an um, auto shop, then uh, and you want to have a bookin bookin plugin or a booking option on your website where customers can book their services and can pay directly on the on the website with the bookin plugin then yeah I think I have the best plugin for you today so let me show you real quick what the plugin can do for you so um, Let's go a little bit down here so you can see uh, multiple the key features, uh, multi-purpose uh, booking plugin, multi-booking days, and um, yeah, the customers can um, pay directly on your website in the booking plugin with a different payment methods, for example, the pay, PayPal, Stripe, and um, some other payment methods then you can uh, use coupon codes if you uh, want to promote some kind of service then you can implement coupon codes give away coupon codes and then your customer can enter these coupon codes inside the bookin plugin and um, yeah this is really great so you can fully customize this um, booking plugin you have different email templates you can use and yeah so this plugin offers you uh, almost everything and everything you can imagine so and uh, let me show you a little bit more about the plugin and then um, I will show you how this plugin works so you can see also the change log you can see they um, update the plugin frequently so um, yeah the developers are active they update this plugin uh, if you if there are any any problems with this plugin then the developer will fix this pro fix this problem and update this, pl this plugin immediately and um, yeah so then let me show you how this plugin works um, I'm right now in my uh, WordPress backend and then from here I will go to add new plugins I will add a new plugin let me do this um, then I will upload the plugin. I will choose the plugin file. Okay, and now I will click on install now. And then, yeah, the plugin gets uploaded to our WordPress website. And of course, this takes a little bit. So the plugin is a little bit bigger in file size. But yeah, now the plugin has uploaded. And um, now we can click on. Um, so this error message has nothing to do with the plugin. It's um, yeah one of my uh, WooCommerce related plugins. So then let's click on activate the plugin and then we have we should have all the functions and i could show you the plugin okay perfect the plugin is now installed and when this plugin is installed then you can enable the auto update function um, like for these uh, other plugins uh, and then you will automatically get all the new features of the of the plugin um, get all the bug fixes etc so then let me show you um we can find this here um, and here you can see uh, you have a new dashboard if you hover over this new plugin then you have a new dashboard here and here you can see all the insights um, when a customer um, books a service you can see uh, your revenue all the summaries pending uh, approved rejected cancelled and then you will get a complete dashboard of um, yeah the revenue and all the bookings and so on um, then we have another function location uh, ah, okay this is um, for the settings um, yeah of course then let me show you first the settings of the plugin so in the settings of course you have uh, some different uh, things you have to set up correctly here so then um, let's start with the general settings uh, here you can see you can um, change uh, the default calendar, um, the color of the pending or default booking status. Okay, it's um, pending and then approved default booking status. So this means when somebody books it, books a service from you and it's not paid or you don't have approved it, then it's on pending or you can set it um, on approved and um, uh, taxes you can set up taxes um, duration steps 15 minutes you can um, you can customize this 
a time format 24 hours or 12 hours of course if you are in the united states so i'm right now in europe so that's why it's on 24 hours um yeah and um your country code you can set your country code or a default phone country code and um, yeah so much more settings here um, payment uh, method label um, and if you don't know what all these uh, settings mean all these options mean you simply hover over this and then you will get um, get an explanation pop up here that will show you exactly what each function means so then let's go to the company and here you can set up your company i think you can set up yeah you can set the company name uh, the address phone number if you want to um then your email address um here you can set everything up about email notification when your customer should get an uh, email notification um right before the the service or after the service you can set the smtp uh, or use the default smtp from your wordpress website uh, sms if you want to have integrate sms notification you can do this and here it's getting a little bit interesting so here are the payment methods here you can set up your or integrate your paypal account your stripe account you can set your currency um, where the pricing symbol is before or after then and here you can see um, all the options you have paypal uh, stripe on-site payments if i go if i active activate paypal then you can see i can enter my client id my secret the same goes for stripe if you want to use stripe if you want to accept credit card for example then you have to put in here your uh, public key and here the secret key and then this is activated this is really really easy your working hours if you don't work 24 hours a day then you can set up um, your working hours here you can see um, saturday you can activate or deactivate the days this is really good um, a google api so um, this means that you can integrate this plugin into your google calendar it's also um, pretty simple uh, you can simply google how you can get the api key from google from your google calendar so then you can um, for example yeah connect uh, this plugin with the google calendar and then you have uh, yeah you can directly see when somebody books a service from you and then you have it on your phone on your computer so so on and so on user role i don't even know what this is let's see um, um i don't really know what this is but uh, yeah then let's take a look at the other settings so um here you have the coupons if you want to generate coupons i think you can do this here under coupons that would make sense yeah add a coupon code here you can add a coupon code you can name this coupon code and um, set the um, start expire date um, the discount amount and all the good stuff so then um, what's next uh, here you can set um, your employees if you have some employees you can set it here um, the services you can specify the services so what kind of services you offer you can uh, first you have to create a category and then you have to create the, the service so for example if you have um, an auto shop auto repair shop then you can um, set a category for tires tire change and then you make the service the, you make the service here tire change and there you can specify specify the service what's included and how long this takes and uh, so on and so on extra service here can specify extra service let me show you a real cool real cool thing um let me go here and also you can import a demo data so if you need a little bit help then you can um, go down here to demo demo that import demo data then let's install the demo data so this will import some um, yeah uh, demo services and um, some demo employees then it's a little bit easier so then you can uh, change the name from the employees okay it's um, already finished let's see on location let's see if we have a look 
location edit. Um, yeah, here you can see we have now a location in London and here's another location in London, a fitness studio and a yoga studio, employees. Uh, here you can see now the demo employees so you can um, simply you can you could delete this at a new employee or you can simply um, hover over edit and then edit the employee at a new uh, name a new image for the employee make a description make the yeah the location uh, service what this employee offers the pricing um, yeah, the schedule, day offs, and so on and so on. Then let's go to services. I think now we should have some services here. Did we? Yes, we have. Here you can see the category, uh, fitness category, and then um, here are all the um, services. You can connect the services with um, each each category. So, like I said, if you have an auto repair shop, then you make um, Tire, tire change and then you make here the, the service a specific service tire change or air pressure I don't know and then um, air pressure check of uh, something like this and then you can connect this with the specific category because later on we will publish the category on our page this looks all good let's um, click here on edit what we can edit here, of course, we can change the image. Um, then we can change the written, the duration, um, a break time when the service is finished. Then we can set a duration for this. Um, yeah, extra services. You can connect extra services. You can uh, connect a link when they um, should get more information or when you um, make for example a landing page in WordPress then you can uh, put the link here where they can see more information about the specific service um, here you can describe the service and uh, yeah that's it so then let's um, yeah extra services you can specify some extra services that they can um, book when they book for example a tire change then they can um, yeah book uh, air pressure check um, for for uh, five dollar more of something like this you know what I mean then um, let's take a look at our customers here now I think we have some demo customers yeah, here you can see we have some demo customers. You can see the name, the phone number, um, their email, birth date, uh, some notes. Yeah, uh, coupon code. I think we already saw this. Then let's go to bookings. Okay, uh, right now there are no bookings. Um, the calendar you have a calendar view then you can see um, in the back end of, of your plugin of your WordPress plugin of your booking plugin you can see um, if there are any bookings for a specific date and a specific time yeah so I think then let me show you um, how this looks in the front end so we go to services here and then uh, here you can see um, so this uh, these services will implement it uh, on your site via shortcode so this means you don't need a specific uh, page builder or something like this so you can really easily implement this in uh, the Gutenberg page builder Elementor Beaver builder you can use uh, everything because yeah this plugin works with shortcodes and this is um, really good so let me go here you can see you can um, choose one service if you only want to display once only one service or you can can uh, yeah display this with a pop-up here you can see you can specify you can modify this um, the font size for example the color of the pop-up or you can um, booking from with tab uh, step layout but, but one service I want to sh wanted to show you one service provider I think let's um, one service provider or one service and provider <laughs> yeah let's let's take this for example then we go to 
sites where sites where sites or pages i mean pages um oh, come on okay then we create a new page open a new tab come on Okay, then we name this page, for example, test. And here you can see I will um, search for the shortcode widget. And the shortcode widget is in every page builder if you are using Gutenberg, the Gutenberg builder, or if you are using Elementor or whatever, uh, you always have the shortcode widget. Add the shortcode widget, let's paste in the shortcode code, and then let's publish this, publish, and now we can preview this page, I hope. Okay, view page, let's open this in a new tab. Perfect. And here it is. Okay, um, date. Okay, now we ha don't have any service. I think that's um, not what I wanted to show you or the location. Um, you know, here you can um, select the service. Okay, you have it this way, but I wanted to show you uh, in another way. Let's go back to services here and then let's grab another shortcode. Yeah, of course, you have to play around a little bit with it. You have to test around with the shortcode, which shortcode you need right now. Let's copy this. Uh, let's go back to our pages. Let's add a new short code here and let's take this and let's update the page now you can see we have two codes two short codes um, underneath or the second short code underneath go back here let's refresh the page And now here you can see, uh, now we have it this way. Now first we can select the employee. We want this employee. We want, uh, oh, come on, load. I don't know why this is, uh, maybe because we have another thing here. Let's refresh the page real quick. Let's take this, for example. I think it's because uh, we have the thing here. Let's uh, quickly delete this, delete. Let's update this, that we only have one on each page. Maybe this will fix it, fix the loading screen, or it's uh, on my end, I don't know. Let's refresh the page. Okay, perfect. Now you can see, yeah, it was because we had two um, two short codes or two, yeah, two short codes on one one side. So now you can see we can select the date, the time, and the next step is to fill out our uh, or the name and the phone number, and then um, yeah, if I could, if I would click on next, then the next step is yeah, pay for the service and you will get the money so um i want to show you another thing okay this one uh, service no tabs or services let's copy this let's put this in here let's click on update yeah but you get the idea you can display all the services or um, first the employees or um yeah you have to play around a little bit with it, but um, I really like um, the graphic, the um, the UI of this plugin. I think, yeah, this is the best plugin you can get. Um, the link to this plugin is in the video description down below. Go to the video des description down below and then you find it. Yeah, here you can see um, now we can select the services. So if we um, yeah want to offer an aerobic course or if we want to offer a tire change or a hotel booking or i don't know you can you can literally do everything um with this then um yeah put it in here now we can if we have 
uh, employees so we don't have to specif specify employees if you don't have a specific employee for a specific for a specific service then you uh, can completely get rid of the employees and then this step will not shown but right now we have an employee yeah, and then again we can select the date the time um, at our information and then you can payment method here we can uh, select the payment method yeah right now i can only select on-site payment because we don't have um, specif specified any other payment method like paypal or stripe but if you have then you could um, or the your customer could select the right payment method and here you can see uh, the extra service i could book the extra service and then um, yeah i um, now right now it's 11 dollar and then with the aerobic uh, ex exercise uh, for five dollar now it's 16 dollar then i could pay and everything is good so yeah i think um that's it for the video now you can see how you how easy um, you can make a really really nice booking or schedule um, service on your WordPress website and uh, I think yeah this is one of the best if not the best booking service for WordPress I really like the interface I really like um, that the plugin is so easy and that you can um, specify so many things here um, yeah this plugin I think it's perfect <laughs> and uh, yeah if you have any questions put it in the comments down below and also yeah I think um, yeah I will put the link to the plugin in the video description down below if you want to um, have this plugin go to the video description down below and you can see all the information about the plugin you can read uh, the plugin informations again you can um, read everything how everything works and yeah so then I think that's it for the video so if you found the video informative if you like um, my video then i would appreciate if you press the thumbs up button and also i would really appreciate if you um subscribe to my youtube channel i will publish more helpful videos about wordpress woocommerce web design e-commerce all the good stuff so then yeah thank you very much for your time thank you for watching see you in the next time